So if you have the latest version of Windows, Windows Defender now has the special feature called Smart App Control. Now by default, it is not turned on. It's set to evaluation mode, in which case it's going to learn if it can help protect you without getting in your way too much. It's kind of like a training mode in older firewalls or a bit of a zero trust approach maybe to cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. Now in order to test it, we have a collection of the most important ransomware hitting critical infrastructure in last five years. So this should be fun. Now, if you know, in the past, I've done similar tests against ransomware, mixed results. And one of the key areas of weakness has been the lack of behavioral protection on Windows Defender's part. So if something goes past the signatures or the cloud lookup fails, then typically the file is allowed to execute and your data gets encrypted. Today, we're going to see if that pattern holds or if this component can do something different. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go from evaluation mode to turn it on. Now, before you do that, beware. This is a very weird component in the way it works. So once you switch from evaluation to turn on, asks you for administrator privileges, but once you say yes, there is no going back. As you can see, evaluation mode is now grayed out. So you can't select it even if you want to. So you can't go back to it. The other option you have is to turn it off, but look what it says here. If you decide to turn it off, it can't be turned on again without reinstalling Windows. So this is pretty much a one-way road if you want to improve your cybersecurity. You gotta turn it on, but there's no real going back to evaluation mode. You're gonna have to turn it off entirely. And then once you decide to turn it off, you cannot turn it back on again. It's very bizarre and the way Microsoft implements these things. And uh, I just wish they had a you know sensible UI and setting because uh, Defender at this point is pretty decent solution. It's just held back, I think, by the weird way in which some of these protection settings are configured. But regardless, we're gonna test this now and we'll see how it works. Now, in order to make sure we test this component and not the signatures, I have tried to remove definitions. So we should be getting detections pure from the smart app control and not so much the virus and threat protection. So we're going to use as usual our automation script Malex and um, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if this component comes into play. So let the testing begin. Now, as you can see right away, we've got a brand new prompt that we've never seen before from Windows Defender. And if we take a look at virus and threat protection, nothing really shows up here. But if you look at Windows Security, it says part of this app has been blocked. Some features of Python may not work because we can't confirm. Oh, wait, now all of a sudden, all the detections are coming in at once. What can I say? The way Windows works is a bit disjointed. But um, from the alert, as you can see, it's blocked parts of Python they may not work because we can't confirm who published this ransom.exe that the app tried to load. So A, this tells us that Windows knows that this particular ransomware was launched by Python. Well, it better know it's the operating system, but it does give us a sense that um, this component may have some behavioral protection. Maybe it's just trying to confirm the digital signatures, in which case it can probably be easily bypassed, but there could be more to it because I've never seen Windows Windows report something like this application is launched by Python or Maybe I'm just reading too much into the style of the alert. Either way, it did block all of the uh, files that we tried to execute here, so good result there. Not a massive surprise given uh, these files should be in the signatures. We did disable the um, latest definition, so this component itself was able to block specifically these samples. And the way I know this component's different is because you get a different prompt. If this was blocked by the typical Windows Defender signatures, we would get a different alert. So let me know your thoughts on this new feature. Do you think it's practical? Will you be using it? Will you be turning it on? Do you think it's going to improve the security of Windows. We have to do more tests to figure that out. But the good news is I did do some false positive testing. So let me show you. If we try to drag in, let's say, some lesser known applications onto the system, like, um, I don't know, Dependency Walker, and try to run it, it still runs fine. So it doesn't seem to be a huge problem when it comes to false positives. Because typically, a lot of EDR products are going to look at uh, lesser known programs and just simply flag them as malware or suspicious. But so far, the component does not do that because I've just loaded two binaries that are just out of the 
blue, not very well known applications, and they did load fine. And um, these are binaries, again, I've specifically tested or collected because EDR programs flag them falsely. So smart app control might be worth giving a go. Maybe a try turning it on, might improve your security. Let me know your experiences in the comments, like and share this video if you enjoyed it, but don't go anywhere. Because if you're interested in the approach of zero trust or not allowing unknown programs to execute, there's a very comprehensive product that we tested earlier that does that. Today's sponsor is ThreatLocker, an interesting zero trust solution that's purely based on behavioral protection. Now we did a full test of this, which you can watch using the link in description. That was a totally independent test, but they also wanted to sponsor some of our educational videos just to show you how it all works. So they have this system called ring fencing, which prevents malware from doing certain actions on your system. So for example, your PDF reader can't reach out to the internet or a ransomware application can't access your documents. It's all based on access control and restrictions and it comes with its own online console where you can analyze any suspicious behaviors or look at new files that you might want to allow to execute or do something sketchy. It's a really interesting solution for enterprises that want to control what's being executed on their endpoints. And like I said, we've done extensive testing on it in the last year. So if you want to watch that, you can check it out. So show them some love for supporting our content and just check out their platform using link in description. You can get a trial and see how it works yourself. It's a different approach to your standard EDR or antivirus. But either way, thank you all so much for watching. This is Leo and as always, stay informed, stay secure.